Once seen as a joke and buried in endless doubts and delays, the Tesla Semi was believed to be stuck in a never-ending production nightmare. But fast forward to today, and Tesla is flipping the script. The Tesla Semi is now stepping into what looks like a golden chapter, with plans to build 50,000 electric trucks at a brand new Gigafactory. Tesla hasn't just pushed past the limits, they've also introduced the world's most unique truck assembly line, where each Semi is finished in just 10 minutes. That's a record-breaking achievement in the world of heavy-duty vehicles. Way! Before we roll on, welcome to Amp Drive. If you're into Tesla and futuristic tech, don't just watch, join the crew. Amp Drive is still under 1,000 subs. Yup, we're the early stage OGs. Smash that red button and be part of something before it blows up. Why scroll past when you can ride with the future? With a price of $250,000, the Tesla Semi might seem like a big investment up front, but the savings on fuel and repairs can help businesses break even quicker than expected. That's why companies are lining up. After several rounds of successful testing, Tesla has now confirmed that the new Semi factory will be running full throttle by the end of the year. Elon Musk shared that anyone can now place an order for a semi with flexible options, allowing buyers to tailor the vehicle exactly to their transport requirements without needing to drain the bank account. This is how the Tesla Semi is gearing up to transform freight transport, not only for massive fleets, but also for smaller businesses across America. But what exactly makes Tesla's plan to mass-produce the semi so groundbreaking? And when will the doors officially open for customer orders? Let's break it all down. In the world of big rigs and long-haul routes, electric trucks were once dismissed as pure fantasy. Even billionaire Bill Gates famously said batteries were too heavy and bulky to power something like an electric semi-truck. Musk didn't hold back. He publicly said Gates had no clue what he was talking about when it came to EV trucking. Musk promised that Tesla could build a Class 8 electric truck that would challenge diesel domination, with performance numbers strong enough to turn the entire industry upside down. Elon Musk keeps pointing out that while diesel trucks make up just 1%, 1 1% 1 of vehicles on the road, they are responsible for a shocking 16, 4% of all transportation emissions in the pride, United States. That number alone is enough to raise eyebrows. As the world's top EV manufacturer, Tesla couldn't afford to rely on diesel-powered trucks to move parts between factories or deliver electric vehicles to customers. The irony would have been too much. That's the logic behind the Tesla Semi's creation. When Tesla first pulled the cover off the Semi back in 2017, the trucking world laughed. A fully electric Semi that could haul 80,000 pounds, go from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds, and cover 500 miles on one charge? People said it sounded more like science fiction than something real. The launch faced delay after delay, missing the original mass production goal in 2019 and only delivering a few early units by 2022. Battery supply issues, a complex design, and the struggle of scaling up production led Tesla into what it called production hell. By the end of 2024, only around 300 Tesla semis had been built. More than half of those were delivered to big-name customers like PepsiCo, Costco, and Walmart. The rest were used for Tesla's own operations. But 2025? That's a game-changer! Tesla is putting in a $3.66 billion billion investment to expand Giga Nevada. This revamped facility, which now includes 4 million additional square feet, will not only build the semi, it will also include its own battery production line on site. This change means Tesla doesn't have to ship in batteries from other factories, which reduces delays and improves the pace of production dramatically. Thanks to this setup, Tesla can now build a complete semi every 10 minutes, translating to over 135 trucks per day. They're aiming to hit the 50,000-unit annual target by the end of this year. Think about that. A heavy-duty electric truck built in 10 minutes. We were doubtful too, but once again, Elon seems to be making the impossible possible. 
The new Giga Semi line is packed with next-level automation, especially in the frame stamping area, which is handled by world-class machines. Even though the Tesla Semi is the most complicated vehicle Tesla has ever made due to its massive size and customizable specs, the production floor is filled with fast-moving robots and conveyor belts that operate just in time, all forming what Musk once described as a factory of the future. What really makes the Tesla Semi line different is its full integration. Giga Nevada produces both the vehicles and their high-voltage batteries in the same facility. These new batteries are smaller but more efficient, cutting costs while boosting energy use. Dan Priestley, the Semi Program Manager, said these batteries improve efficiency by more than 7%, which helps the truck reach its 500-mile range without adding extra weight. Making the batteries on-site means Tesla avoids delays and trims down assembly time. The outcome? A Tesla Semi can roll out of the factory floor in 10 minutes, moving steadily toward that 50,000 yearly goal. Compared to rivals like Kenworth and Peterbilt, who combined to sell about 190,000 Class 8 trucks across the uses and Canada in 2023, Tesla's 50,000 is a Purcell. Very solid beginning! Musk isn't stopping there either. He believes that, with further refinement, Tesla could eventually produce one semi every five minutes of pace that would shock even the most established names in trucking. At $250,000 for the 500-mile version, the semi may appear expensive. PepsiCo, one of Tesla's first clients, used $4.5 million million in subsidies to buy 18 of them, which shows that the upfront cost can be a challenge. But Elon Musk didn't call the semi a money printer for nothing. With cheaper running and upkeep costs, the semi turns into a better investment over time. Let's break it down. The Tesla Semi uses about 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. In California, that costs around $0.30 per mile. A typical diesel truck, by comparison, burns through $3.51 every 6.5 miles per gallon. If a truck covers 100,000 miles in a year, that's a huge difference in fuel costs. Tesla semis in North America have already saved over 1 million gallons of diesel worth around $3.5 million million. And that's with only 300 trucks on the road. Imagine that. Savings when there are thousands. Maintenance costs are another big win. Tesla semis cost about 10 cents per mile to maintain, while diesel trucks cost roughly 20 cents per mile. Over five years and 500,000 miles, that's $50,000 in upkeep versus $100,000 for diesel. Features like regenerative braking that recycles energy and a simpler design that skips things like internal combustion engines mean less breakdowns and more uptime. And the Tesla Semi isn't just economical, it's powerful. With three independent motors and instant torque, it can hit 60 mph in 20 seconds while hauling 80,000 pounds. When unloaded, it can go up to 800 miles. The regenerative braking system even helps extend the truck's range by recovering energy on downhill stretches, meaning fewer charging stops. In one real-world test, during the 2024 run on Less I event, a Tesla Semi set a record by traveling 1,076 miles in one day using just three fast charges from Maya. Tesla's Mega Charger Network Big customers like PepsiCo, DHL, and Sia have tested the truck and were blown away. Sia recorded energy use of just 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile. Drivers love the smooth ride, strong performance on hills, and quiet operation. PepsiCo's drivers said they now prefer the Semi to any other truck, thanks to its low-stress driving experience. But Tesla's ambitions don't end there. Musk said full self-driving FSD will be added to the Semi by the end of 2025, right in time for the mass production wave. FSD will help solve America's ongoing driver shortage and reduce highway fatigue-related accidents. It could also help logistics companies run tighter schedules with less human error. The environmental side matters too. 
Heavy-duty trucks only make up about 1% of vehicles in the U.S., but they create 18% of greenhouse gases. Saving 1 million gallons of diesel equals about 22,400 tons of CO2 emissions avoided. The semi's drag coefficient is just 0.4 compared to a diesel truck's 0.8, making it more aerodynamic and energy efficient. Still, challenges remain. Tesla's mega charter network is currently limited to a few locations like Giga Nevada and Modesto. A nationwide rollout is essential for broader adoption. Government resistance and political drama haven't helped either, especially with disagreements between Elon Musk and politicians like Biden or Trump. There's uncertainty around when or if the full mega charter network will be built. Tesla also needs time to fully fine tune its new assembly process. And while the Tesla Semi leads in performance, it must increase production to compete with long-established names like Kenworth, Freightliner, and Peterbilt. Musk has shared plans to eventually bring the Semi to Europe through Giga Berlin. But that's not happening tomorrow. Europe has tougher truck laws, such as limits on width and preferences for Kubover engine designs to save space. Tesla may need to redesign parts of the Semi for European roads. They also need to shift the driver's seat to one side and add sleeper cabins, which are a must-have in Europe. Charging infrastructure in Europe is behind the US, and Tesla's service coverage there is still small compared to brands like Volvo or Daimler. Speaking of competition, European electric truck makers are gaining speed. Volvo's FH Electric and Mercedes-Benz's e-Actro 600 are strong contenders. Volvo already has over 3,000 electric trucks running in Europe. But none of them match the Tesla Semi's 500-mile range or 1.7 kilowatt-hours per mile efficiency. That's where Tesla still leads. If Tesla can fix the service and charging problems and tweak the Semi's design, it could eventually dominate the global electric truck market. At the IAA Expo 2024 in Hanover, two Tesla semis were shown a one for viewing and one for test drives catching the attention of major fleet operators. Dan Priestley mentioned the truck was built for global use from day one. In the end, the Tesla semi isn't just another electric truck. It's a bold move to reshape heavy-duty transportation. With factory activity in full swing and production growing fast, Tesla is proving the semi is real and it's here to stay. The only real question now is not whether it will beat diesel trucks, but how soon. This isn't the future, it's the now. The Tesla semi is already showing it can outperform on cost, power, and environmental impact. For businesses looking to cut fuel bills and reduce emissions, the semi isn't just smart, it's essential. What do you think about the Tesla Semi? Drop your thoughts below. And hi if you're still watching. Smash that subscribe button and turn on notification. We're taking Amp Drive to the next level. So join the ride. Goodbye.